Way back when I was around 9 years old, I decided to save up for the thing I wanted more than anything else, a Nintendo Game Boy. It took me almost an entire year to save up enough money for it. It came with headphones, a set of four AA batteries, a game link cable, and one game, Tetris. Now, it was going to be a long time before I could save up enough money to buy a second game, so Tetris was all I had for months. And I loved it. I never got tired of it. Over the years, my Game Boy became scratched and more difficult to use, and this was before the age of the internet being popular, and the concept of buying cheap replacement parts online wasn't an option like today. So I ended up throwing it away. But about a year ago, I decided to buy a used original DMG Game Boy to play all of my old games again. When it arrived in the mail, <laughs> my young daughter watched me opening the box and taking it out. As I was checking out the packaging, she picked up the Game Boy and she laughed. She said something like, what the heck is this chonky thing? <laughs> I responded by taking the Game Boy, inserting my original copy of Tetris, turning it on, and handing it back to her and she could not stop playing. And the next day, she asked if she could play it again. The game is so good. I consider Tetris to be the greatest video game of all time. The premise is simple, fill in a row of blocks to make them disappear. The gameplay is a great blend of skill and luck. Players can improve with practice, while at the same time, each play session is a completely unique random experience. The amount of gameplay experiences in Tetris are literally endless. It provides a game where skill will get you more points and to a higher level, but the hope for a better set of luck in just one more game will drive the player to play again and again. Also notable is that it can only be played as a video game. Chess or Checkers or Go may be better games, but I wouldn't consider them better video games. In regards to game design, the lose case scenario is simple. If the blocks make it to the top of the screen, you lose. It's simple and well defined. As for win case scenarios, the Game Boy version provides two options. The A-type mode continues until the blocks become too fast for the player to clear any more rows. In this mode, the goal would be either to get a high score or to simply have fun enjoying clearing the blocks. Clearing blocks in itself is fun. People just love arranging things. It's the basis for many hobbies and activities, most notably jigsaw puzzles. Tetris scratches that basic itch. Honestly, when I was recording a few, a few minutes of gameplay for this video, I had to drag myself away from the game. It was really hard to stop. The other mode, the B-type mode, allows the player to set the speed and starting height of the blocks with the goal of clearing just 25 lines without losing. This is a well-defined win case scenario for players who prefer to beat the game. I love attempting the highest difficulty setting. With enough concentration and the right luck, I can just beat the level. And I always love seeing the little dancing people at the end. So Tetris is a great game. As for the Game Boy version specifically, I consider it one of the best versions ever made and can still be enjoyed today. The graphics are crisp and clear. The music is iconic. <laughs> as much as I love the famous A music, I spend just as much time listening to the B music and occasionally the C music when I want a more chill experience. The Game Boy version provides a two-player mode by using the Game Link cable, which is a bonus because not all versions provide that option, most notable being the NES version of Tetris by Nintendo themselves. The only cons I can think of is that the game really could have used an internal battery to save high scores. But honestly, the fact that the scores are reset every time the Game Boy is powered off has never bothered me personally. The other thing is the sound effect that is played when clearing four rows of blocks at once. It's just a little weird and too excited or something. In conclusion, Tetris for the Game Boy is an extremely fun, timeless video game that can still be enjoyed by almost everyone today.